everyone. Welcome to the book over our little book club where we talk about books, especially the ones that give us book hangovers. I'm Sarah and with me is Megan. Hi. And we're really excited today because we're talking about Savage Bonds, which is the second book in the Bonds That Tie series and um, the one right after Broken Bonds. Yay. Yay. Okay. Um, before we get started, spoiler alert, um, if you haven't read it yet, then don't listen unless you want to know what happens and how we feel about it, basically. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get into it. <laughs> we're going to get into it. Okay. So, um, I, ha- I have so much to say, so I don't even know where to start besides like, holy book over. <laughs> um, it was, and I, I seriously have never enjoyed reading a book as much as this one. I think it's just the anticipation of it and to see what happens. Um, just like every minute was good. It was just good. Just yes. invest, fully invested. Yes. Yes. And I could just, I know this book's going to be a reread for me. I'm already fighting rereading it. And I'm like, okay, you've got like a huge to be read pile. Like don't, 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 but holy moly. I know. I want to reread it closer to the next book because it's not that long to wait. Um, but it's, it's going to be hard. It might be to reread. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this is like, we're saying we said earlier without everybody um this is like the next like Hannaford prep I feel like it's just gonna be that comfort read that that mm-hmm. doesn't shouldn't be a comfort read but it is and it's just so it's so good okay so um I don't even I, I don't even know where to start besides like can I just say that the smoke puppies yes I am in love with them Brutus oh my gosh I just like, I want, I want my own. (laughs) I know. And just the way that I, okay. The way that she react, like the people react to her, like, you know, having them is amazing. I just love it. They're like, don't touch the puppy. What are you doing? And she's like, it's no big deal. Like it doesn't phase her at all. She trusts them fully where she can't trust the bonds fully, but she trusts the puppies. fully. Yes. Yes. I I just loved it. I loved how, you know, it just kind of happened. And then you know, and just the love she has for the little guy and, and he, for her too, you could tell, like they have this cute little relationship. And like, what I'm dying for is like, for like, you know, I love, there's a scene where Knox and her are petting him together. And like, I just, I love that. I loved, you know, how he takes care of his little, little creatures. You know, you see that at night, how he lets them out and they're all sleeping around his room. And like, I love that first glimpse of, of him because we, I feel like we didn't get a lot of knocks this book. We didn't. Yeah. But we we did get that. And I, we got a little bit. We got, we got some hints of knocks that I think are going to come in the future that are going to be like, gripping and powerful so I yes. think yeah yes oh, that, that was such a great scene I um, between the brothers oh I loved it yes and I I want to see one of the other guys go like well maybe maybe she's on to something maybe these aren't bad guys you know maybe you yeah. know they need a little love and you know I would love to see like you know Gabe get down on his knees and like belly rub Brutus you know like yeah that would just I- would I think it, I think it'll come to that eventually you know <laughs> I just love that North doesn't even trust his creatures though yes. like and 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 I don't know there's something about that I think for with Knox it's like we're finally we're getting the one piece of him that's able to like fully like love her mm-hmm. through that creature and then with North I'm like trying to like get his like I'm trying to figure out his relationship with his creatures is it him not trusting himself like what is it that makes his creatures feral and him not even like trust them but she's able to and they're and his creatures are able to like so how much control do they have like I just the whole I I love the whole concept and I love like kind of reading into it yeah yeah well I I the north part kind of um made me start thinking about that and I'm wondering if it's a control thing and he feels like no these are demons so they need to be controlled Mm -hmm. well he's not you know well Knox is probably looking at it as an extension of himself and 
he's treating them differently, you know, and that could also be part of it is how you look at yourself. Yeah. I don't know. That's a good, that's a, that's a good point. Well, the, I don't think Knox is a great image of himself though, either. So maybe, but maybe he's looking at the creatures as the best part of himself though. Maybe he's like, I'm crap, but he, my creatures aren't. And here's like the best part of me where North, I don't know, maybe North, North puts on a good facade like to the world and he's like he's very much the politician so I could see that where like maybe it comes out for him where Knox is more self-loathing in person so his creatures are nicer but North is like presents himself you know as this political great guy to the community so maybe his creatures come out mm-hmm. feral right that's in- that's an interesting thought yeah yeah <laughs> I just had it. Uh, no very good very good and I, yeah, I like no. it yeah I mean, there was, there was so much, I mean, okay. So, um, I don't, I still, I don't know where to start. We already started. So we started at the end, we started at the beginning where, yeah, I mean, I want to jump to something, but it's further in the story. So I, I don't, I don't want to, like, I want to go in order, but it's really hard for me because I really want to talk about Griffin. (laughs) Oh, I know. Right. Okay. Well, okay. Where do we, where we pick up, we pick up, um, you know, at the camp. Oh, North POV. We start at North POV, which, you know, people were surprised because they think Griffin's on the cover. They think they were going to get Griffin's POV. Well, we learned later why Griffin's on the cover, which I think is what you want to talk about. Yes. Yes. Um, but it was interesting to get North, you know, North not trusting her at first. Obviously, Atlas is trusting her. And then, you know, it's like jokes on you, North. <laughs> Proven right. <laughs> Well, and he shows it though. I mean, by the end of the book, North yes. is showing that he's, he asks, he's starting to ask questions and he's starting mm-hmm. to kind of try to help her out in a way, you know, there's a couple of times where he's asked, you know, do you need this and stuff? So he's finally, you Thank know, goodness. But, finally, slowly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Especially with the way that the book ends, I'm glad that there's some trust there because I'm a little scared of Alifers. <laughs> I'm hoping he'll, he won't take it as her running away again. Yes. Like, yes. Okay. Now that they've established that, like yeah. the trust. Right. And, and so, her intentions. Well, and I think what's going to help is Gabe and Atlas. They've been with her the most. And yeah. They've spent a lot of time with her. They've seen her dealing with her bond being crazy and needing things and, and stuff. And like, I think eventually all the guys are going to get closer together and and form a better relationship with each other. But yeah, I feel like, you know, like Atlas, you know, can sense her pretty well. Gabe's Mm -hmm. getting, you know, like, I feel like they have a really good thing. So at least those two witnessing what they witnessed before they left. I yeah, think that they'll be able to be like, no, you know. I like how Gabe was protective of her from the start of this book. Yes. Like, you know, her stepping in front of, you know, who was it? Um, Knox for, for Gabe mm-hmm. and in front of them. I think and how protective she was. Like Gabe was completely like one over this book. He was just like, he got over his issues. He was like, you know, team Oli, which I was all for. So I really enjoyed that. Gabe was you know on her side this book and we got we, we got to experience Gabe how he was but like fully without reservation really so and we get to learn a little bit more about Gabe too which like you know the first time he shifted and what happened mm-hmm. and and all that too which I I loved I love getting a little bit more of his story I loved seeing him change with her now that the relationships evolved a little bit when she, when she was like no he's I'm protecting him too And, and, you know, I have to say like with the first book with Atlas, I was cautious about him, but now I love, I mean, he's not my top guy. Mm -hmm. Griffin is my top guy. Um, But Atlas (laughs) is a pretty close up there too. And I know some people Mm -hmm. with the ending are cautious about Atlas, but I really think it's all his family. So basically with Atlas, like he, I, he's proving himself. He's moved mm-hmm. into the thing. He's taking care of her. He moved in. He got mad when she got fired. Like, yeah. you I'm know, really mad. He's really mad. You know, <laughs> like I just like, there was so many times throughout the book that like, I'm not doubting Atlas. What I find weird is mm-hmm. like, I forgot what happened. Something happened. And then like his mom called. So he had to be like on the phone with his mom while like Oli was doing something. You know, there was a couple of times where she was like, mm-hmm. he was on the phone with his parents or whatever. And- 
he didn't introduce her yet too, which I thought was interesting. And, and she, he had a sister that Oli didn't know about. So he isn't, wasn't bringing her around his family. Mm-hmm. But I do think they're setting, Jabri is setting Atlas up to, for there to be questions. Like yeah. we're supposed to be questioning him. I want to trust him. I want to say it's all his parents. I mean, I don't think the ending, we were shocked that Atlas is dad at the ending. I don't think we were, sh- I think like we kind of been building towards that. So it was just kind of a confirmation, but also, okay, there's little things where he knew, okay, he knew what she was. And we don't know how he know, knew what she was. He like told, like didn't want her. Well, it's natural. He wouldn't want her to go. But like when, when she was about to be like um, transported, he tried the way he tried to stop her was almost like, uh, you can be interpreted. I mean, he, and then, um, oh, the tracker was tracking to the East coast. So there's a couple little things sprinkled. And, like, can I just say how much I loved Sawyer for, like, bringing that up? Like, when they're, like, anything strange happening, he's, like, what about? And it's, like, yeah, yeah what about that? And can we say, like, now we know that Gabe did not know he, she had a tracker. Gabe was so mad. And I love that we know that. And that we're not even sure if North knows. Well, North, wait, North has threatened her. But does North know? No, because she, like, like, mentioned stuff, but everyone kind of brushed her off. So I yeah. don't know what he knows for sure. Because, like, I know, like, when she mentioned, like, that she wasn't fed, he didn't really believe her. So, yeah, I feel like maybe North doesn't know as much as we think. Mm -hmm. Just, like, he didn't know about how she was treated Mm -hmm. and, like, didn't think that his people would do anything. I think now he knows there's people inside that are, you know, controlling things. Mm -hmm. So that, oh, God. This series is so freaking good. (laughs) It's so so good. And so with, like, Atlas's thing, I think his... If you want to have him in on something, I think his family might have been trying to get him yeah. to get information on her. Yeah, um, but I don't think he's a bad. I don't think he he might be suspecting his family. Yeah, maybe, or maybe uh, he knows more than he should. But but I don't think he's fully bad or is going to harm her. I think he's being used by them. I agree. I don't think that he would intentionally hurt her. I think that they might set it up where it seems that way or maybe he like does know more than he's letting on um I mean like I and and I think you you told me you caught this that like with the the code name yes I missed it I missed the IW yeah Yeah. like her code name in the cam Mm -hmm. so I mean who who knows I mean obviously his dad is either like bad or like a double agent or something probably bad probably the bad guy but I don't think that he I think that he's team Oli I think that he is on her side and I think that he genuinely loves her I mean they're bonded you know they're bonds they're not bonded but they're bonds so I think I think that it might be some mystery we're supposed to question him but I think I and, and people again from the get-go have been like he's too good to be true yes. he's too nice so I think Jaybree's playing into that she's like okay well if you say he's too good to be true he's too nice I'm gonna make you question him more <laughs> Well, and I haven't like, how much is like actually planned out, you know, and how much we're just yeah. like, you know, just yeah, thinking it. Fun. I mean, because I mean, she's writing, she's writing really, she's a great writer. So we're, you know, reading right. stuff and we're automatically thinking these things, you know, and it's just kind of, she's setting us up for this stuff, you know. Yeah. Oh, and she, she talked about the Easter eggs that she likes to plant too. So it's like, oh, you just want to search. And, um, oh my gosh, what is his name? The guy who transports people. Kieran. There's the Kieran, Kieran. Um, I liked his turnaround, this yes. book. He yes. like, he went from a, like a, a bad, you know, bad dude to like, you know, yeah a good guy yeah he respects her he like he I, I don't know he see I, I like his little his little story I love how Jabri can do that with a character yeah you don't like him first book you write him off and then she like let me just take this oh you thought you didn't like him I'm gonna make yeah. you like him and care about him and then leave him on an edge well yeah and, that, and now I'm worried about him right because right? now they're gonna get separated at camp and she's telling him before they're frozen you know like you gotta get her out you know like this is you gotta do this and I like him because I think he, after witnessing everything at the first time at the other camp, I think he mm-hmm. realized that everyone had her wrong. 
Yeah. And he's very intuitive because he's, he's again, like another person is just like kind of in the shadows watching everything. He's a guard, you know? So like, good I point. think he's getting like, he's learning a lot more about everybody. So he's a good person to be from because he's seen a lot more, you know? Yeah. But I, 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 I like him and I like that how he like agreed with her that they needed to go, you know, how, yeah. could, you know, so it's like, I know he's going to get in trouble with the boy. Oh God. He's going to be in so much trouble. He's going to get in so much trouble, but I think Oli, if Oli's around, she's going to stop it because he yeah. definitely did. I think they did the right thing. It's just, it sucks, but she's sacrificing herself yet again, going like, okay, I'm going to be here for years, you know? Yeah. Go get her just out. Think- exactly he, she wants to save I think even if it wasn't Griffin's sister I think that she would do that for a good person for the person who gave her a job mm-hmm. but I mean the fact that it's Griffin's sister I mean come on I mean you can't be mad at her for that no, you so, can't you can't I, I, I love that the, the set like, I love that it ended this way again that she's in the resistance and I'm but I'm also scared like I just I hope I hope she I hope she escapes unscathed a little more like I'm just I'm a little worried that this go around she might end up in their clutches a little longer with Alice's dad being there yes so I'm I don't know well I I wonder how she's gonna get found I'm wondering how maybe yeah yeah because yeah I think you're right I think we're gonna have to she's gonna be in there for a while and I and we'll, we'll learn stuff though and we'll learn more about her past does she still have Brutus with her that's a great question. I, oh, does she, I would think so. I hope so. I really do because now like she just has no powers because they have a, what is it when there's yeah. a word when like, you can turn the power off. Yeah. They like, that? yeah, they did that. They, they like, I forgot what it was called, but yeah. It's like and I have to say when they first called her um, a render, when she went underground, yeah. I was like, what does that mean? What is render? I highlighted it and I'm like, what is render? And yeah. then like when she actually used it, I was like, oh soul render yeah Yeah. I love that I love that and I think that speaks to the cover too with with the skeleton and and the butt you know that she can yeah take out but do we still I think there's still one power we don't know of hers yeah 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 because she she has like three yeah yes yeah so I'm curious to find out what that is yeah um and I I go go on yeah I love that Griffin knows you know before they were bonded and accepts and I love that um, Kieran knows too and accepts like yes. more points for Kieran. <laughs> yes. Well, and then, you know, like Atlas and Gabe find out and they don't really have time to process it. And I know they were kind of like, don't, but she was like, no, we need to save. And so I think they're going to be okay with that. I think she's going to slowly find out that she, she keeps calling herself a monster where it's like, if you use it right, you're not a monster, you know, yeah. it's, you you know, so I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what the fallout on all that is going, going to be. Um, I have to say, I absolutely loved Sawyer and Felix and Sage again on this one. I'm, you know, they weren't in it as much, but when they were Mm -hmm. in it, it was so important. Like Felix getting the microchip out, you know, Mm -hmm. like that was just awesome that they, and then like, cause they didn't know, how did they not know that Sawyer could help with all that? Well, she didn't know any, she like, wasn't asking anyone their powers because she didn't want anyone to ask her, her powers. So yeah. that was something nice about this book. We got to learn like what everyone's power was finally. Right. Yeah. We got a better idea on like everything. Um, yeah. And like, and then, so that's like with Griffin, like I just left like, you know, the, the moments she had with him talking with him and stuff. I do have to say the bonding I was like no stop because like she didn't want to you know like she was so I don't want to and I knew it was just out of her control that I just kind of love I know like I loved it too but I also felt kind of I had mixed yeah. feelings the whole time because I was like I know you don't want it but you do want it and so I felt That's- the mix too it was like her inner, that's the thing though. I feel like the bond is primal, but it's also her inner desire yes. at the same time. Yes. So I was like, I'm like, I feel like this is the only way it's going to happen. So I was really, I was surprised we were going to get a bond. We were getting a bond in book two. I was surprised. Yeah. And I was like, yes, 
Yes. Yes. And I'm so glad it was Griffin and the way he was with her afterward. Mm-hmm. Well, and the fact that he lost control too, his bond took over control. Like and that, that made it, oh, I loved it. And I was so grace, Gracie, like, oh, what she you did. Knew it. You and I'm like, it. you called it that she was like suspicious yeah, that yeah, there was yeah. more to her. Yeah. You called it. You made yeah. me see like how bad. Hmm. But then just that she did that. And I don't know, like who told her to do that. I want to know what Gabe told Gracie to get her to react like that. Cause something, cause remember they said that Gabe talked, showed her to the room and said something to Grace and she left. Yeah. Well, she was in, like in trouble with them. Yeah. So, so it's just that, but, but mm-hmm. Wally, what was up saying though, was like, they didn't have any moment afterwards, you know, with the others with North barging in, like, what did you do? You know? And it's like, that's, that's rough for her, you know? And then to find everybody, find like everyone, well, luckily this Atlas and Gabe didn't, you know, go in, but like, she's like, yeah. okay, now everybody knows, you know, like I was a virgin and stuff. Like I felt really sad for her. Like, you know, like this yeah. moment, that's like a big deal that you're, you're trying to deal with too. And then, you know, boom, <laughs> I'm in that- here, you know, accusing you guys of stuff. Like, come on, you know, you know I think, and I think they were worried. I think they felt it. I think they were worried about her because they knew that she didn't want it. Yeah. But it, exactly. I do- Yeah. And I do feel like though it does speak to a lot of people's first times because it never goes how you think it's going to (laughs) go. It never goes according to plan. No. So, I mean, you know, but I do like, you know, how Griffin, like they had to nest afterwards and I liked how Griffin reacted and he just was like really good to her. He's like, let me fix everything. He just like, let me fix the bedding. Let me do this. Like he just, he was there for her instantly. And I, it wasn't like a bond connection with him. Like, he's a good guy. Yes. And at first he was like, I was like, why, I was like, why is Griffin different this book? Like, I was like, why is he like not being as like, I don't know. He was upsetting me a little bit. And I was like, Griff, why'd you turn? And then all of a sudden they had this conversation like, and things made more sense. And he became himself again. There was like, you know, miscommunication. They needed to have a chat. And then he was back to being like his lovable Exactly. self I mean I think every like okay, everyone has like I love North I am North is my dude because I know I just know but like Griffin's like I think universal like you can't question I don't think anyone doesn't love Griffin like how can you not love him yeah. he's so great yeah. and I, I love that he was her first mm-hmm. the first bond. I wonder who's going to be the next I one. know so after that happened and you know we move on and she finds out that you know like because you know, she's worried about Gabe's feelings and uh, Alex's oh, yeah. feelings and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, like, after, you know, she realizes that there, no one's even acting really any different. You know, everything's okay. No one blames, you know, there's nothing, the world's not ending, world's you not know, ending. Her yet. Her powers aren't too out of control. Her powers aren't too bad. The exactly. bond isn't bad. So, yeah, like, the world- I'm, as soon as that got to that point where we're like, okay, it's, everything's fine I'm like okay, who's next <laughs> it is like it's like, it gonna be who's on the cover is it gonna be and I'm like do we ha- and also do we have to wait to the last book for somebody to be, to be bonded like I hope that's not the case I hope it's like you know bond like book six I hope you know I hope maybe we get a couple of bonds I hope we get a couple of bonds in one of the books I hope it's not like a bond <laughs> book because that would be torture <laughs> I don't yeah I want I want her to have more I want I, I really hope the relationship is established and good kind of like how in like like Hannaford I think it's one of those like rare books where it doesn't start out like insta or anything but they you know throughout this they're good they're like they some see like some books you have to wait till the end and it's like the epilogue and they're good and some series you know they're good from the beginning but like I, with Han- and I'm saying Hannaford because it's Jay Bree I feel like Hannaford you know book two they're figuring things out and then like book three and four yeah there's issues but they're like good they're a unit they're like a family unit and they deal with stuff as it comes but like you feel solid and I I hope I mean I could I think we kind of feel so we're getting to a place where we feel solid but I really want her to feel solid in her relationships and like trust them and you know give into it she's starting to that's the thing she's starting to see like she's like like they're added to the list or now I don't think I can ever go back and like she's embraced it with Griffin and I love that so I want I want her to be like invested and like there's no going back and yeah well and I, I know with, with Griff with um with um Knox well I think that 
-hmm. there was a couple of times she said stuff about like walking away from the guys that she can't deal with with them bickering and them fighting she wasn't going to get in the middle of it and so I think what she because I think she'd be definitely like all in at this point with a lot of them and um, and they're with you know a lot of them are like obviously you know interested in her however you want to call it but I think they the guys need to learn to work together and be a unit too so I'm Mm -hmm. wondering if now with them having to rescue her or find her or whatever now that she's at the next camp if that's not going to bring in them actually realizing they need to come together come together or it might it's going to take some time like you said you know it's probably gonna take a few books but maybe this will be the start of them actually like stop bickering arguing and hiding things from each other and just all together being like okay like just like that they just the friend group just did around the table and be like let's talk about this now yeah. it's time for all of them to sit together and actually like be a family unit because that's what they're going to be and they need to bring atlas in because atlas is on the outside and i think that's where some of the distrust comes from as well mm-hmm. i mean like like even gabe and atlas they they're not getting old, like they only get along for her even though they're in her friend circle they're in her day-to-day life they're on like the same yeah. you think they would be close but they're not so yeah exactly that'd be, that'd be, oh that'll be so interesting and I have to say, I love that North went with her to save Sage. Yes. I love oh, picturing really him in the hoodie summer. and stuff. Yeah. I loved it. I love that she talked him into letting, you know, August go with her. And mm-hmm. like, you know, I just, I loved all. And can I just say, I called it. I read that and I was like, yes, I called it. Like, she's the central like that. Um, I always call her name wrong. It's Giovanna. Oh yeah. Oh, Giovanna is like, yes, yes. You know, I'm like, I I just, yes. And I'm just so happy for Sage because it makes sense. It makes sense. And then like, but poor Sage to like, you know, sleep with Felix and then have the whole, the mind things. And I didn't know that was a thing. And so when that first happened with um, Oli and Griffin, where he's all sitting in her head, I thought that was his, his gift, his power. And he was using it on her now that they were bonded. I didn't realize that that was something that could happen when you're a central. But they said it only happens with strong bonds. So I think that goes to show just how strong Sage is. And it is, I mean, they really, they've put Sage down so much, but she's like really powerful. Mm -hmm. And I just love that these powerful women, they're being pushed down, but um, they're going to rise. And they are. That's another speaks to first times like you know she had sex with it and then it goes up in flames yeah <laughs> I just love it. right <laughs> but it's, 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 you know I love that he you know helped or you know distract so she can get out I love yes. all that and then I just and then just the revelations afterwards of just like even hearing about Riley getting the nosebleeds and stuff and then they're like wait a second doesn't like I I just when it all started falling together I was like yes I started through this book I did start wondering if it when I because I was remembering her power like I think maybe we heard more about her power and then more about people with that power like with the um the girl who worked at the coffee shop with her had that had a power Mm -hmm, that like was like yeah so I was like you know with these like invasive powers like this I started thinking maybe there was something going on with Sage and with Sage's bond like it had to be Mm -hmm something at play and I you have you you mentioned it last but I I think I, I'm I, I think it's very interesting so we're, we're I think that leads to a whole nother story too which I'm very interested in um with the corruption but it's floppy though too I mean this is what's gonna get them caught is that she's trying to be part of a bond that she's not even in I think I'm get, well yeah yeah she's trying to be a part of the bond yeah. she's trying to get a, an internship at that lab you yeah. know so it's like what's you know, so she's obviously part of something that's not for. So it's a weeding them out. Oh, and them taking care of what was the guy's name? The guy on the council that they kicked off the council oh. and then came to attack. Yes. Oh my god! Yes, the one that they 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 decimated, but she decimated. Yes, I loved mm. it. I just loved it. Oh, me too. I did too. And just like them finding out, I just love that we didn't have to wait for things to find out what she is. It's her, you know, to bond the Sage's storyline already. Like at this point she got with 
with her man and like he wanted her even if they weren't bonds and they were and it's I love it I just I love it. Yeah, and the amazing. fact that Nora just took them to get coffee, like kind of like it's kind of like picking up your like. I mean, there's no better way for a guy to show affection than to help your girlfriend out. You know what I mean? Yes, like to go exactly. on a call, and then they went to just like the normal thing of going through the drive-through, like just north going through a drive-through to me. <laughs> I know him driving, and him going through the drive-through, and that's what I think that's that's gonna that's helping us warm up to him because he's showing yeah. more and he's caring more, and that's definitely how you show you care is you take care of the girlfriends too. Yes, and the coffee order too, because Jabri had posted about um like a ridiculous. Yes, a ridiculous order. And I like legit went to the Starbucks app, app and I was like putting my order for Batum, but like added a couple other things. I love that he had a ridiculous order and then it was north and he didn't care. He's like, yep, this is my order. And <laughs> I didn't even gather that because I was like, this is a really weird order. Like I didn't even realize that was yeah. from that post. I totally it forgot was. about that. Oh, I love it. I love that she did that. I bet whoever's one is like totally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should, we, should, we should like when the next book co- co- comes out go to starbucks and order that drink yes <laughs> in honor pumpkin spice in it though and people are gonna hate me i am not a fan of pumpkin spice um i don't know if it, i don't think it have okay. pumpkin spice. i don't hate you it's okay I like pumpkin, <laughs> i'm not sure if it's vegan from starbucks there's like certain ones that are the caramel is though which i'm happy about uh, we could always just revamp it like okay. you just replace pumpkin spice with like caramel or something right, I don't right. Know. but it has didn't have strawberry in it his drink I have to I have to like read something, it had something, something yeah it wouldn't go together yeah it was something weird but it, like I was like I bet this actually is a good yeah some of them, <laughs> they have the fruity drinks and they have like yeah. the not pretty you know the coffee drink. yeah yeah I love but it north is just yeah I, I I'm definitely very pleased with his progress so <laughs> went to check on her too when he was in Knox when she was in Knox's room you know he does he cares he cares and you know he's I think he just has a hard time showing it and what I also like is the conversation he had with Knox when she was pretending she was asleep and I'm very intrigued I about what that meant because he was saying like I didn't know they were all straight wait what yeah so what What? 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 I don't know what he's talking about and I can try to look it up, but yeah, I think he's talking. So it was after she did the whole, her bond went crazy and she ended up like on Knox, right. And like sniffing him and cuddling him and he had to leave. Yeah. And then that night was her night in his room. And he was telling love- North, like, I didn't, he was asking if he was okay. And he's like, I didn't realize they were all straight. I'm gonna have to reread. I'm gonna have to reread. I don't remember that part. Yeah. And like- so it was just a weird sentence. And then all of a sudden I'm like, what is he talking about? So I think it's like, another. Like, are they talking about orientation? Like his, like his creatures or the, the guys or. I think interesting. the creatures, right? Like something. Interesting. Okay. Let me, That's interesting. I'm going to look it up. So. Okay. And until then I can, I, I can fill the. Go for so, it. So I will say that I loved like her, like her needing you know what I mean like that she denied the bond and being around them made her you know need these things and how the guys were trying to meet the needs and they were like hiding it like in a closet it was just funny and they they discovered it um I I just I kind of liked that scene like where she tries to you know tries to repress it but like she can't like it literally needs these things from the guys and she needed their shirts and (laughs) it was just so cute it was cute how the guys got it for them um for her I love and that. Then I, yeah. And then I think the room thing brings them closer together. Um, I was like, North, what are you doing when he just let his, I think he just was being dumb and just didn't even think when he let the assistant come in there into his room, like after she had slept in there and the assistant's like picking out the outfit and everything, especially knowing she doesn't like that assistant. Um, so I don't know. I kind of like her being a little possessive of the guys too, but um, I like that he has to go to her room now. Um, I just, I like that. That probably throws North off, um, not being in his element, which I enjoy. Um, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, how is that, that, um, assistant still there? I can't wait for when they fire her. (laughs) Yeah. And like, she's just doing stuff that I'm like, why would he, 
like hello and then how like dude get your own clothes yeah <laughs> like it- I think he just doesn't even think. I think he's just like, it's like he's being a typical guy where they don't even think. Like, okay, I've been in relationships where they just don't think. Okay, I found it. Okay. okay. So, um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, I'm, I want to hear it. <laughs> okay, so he's, they're talking and then he goes, okay. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to them being straight. I'm angry at her for messing with something she had no right to interesting with okay can you can you read the sentence before that i'm curious what it is okay so before it says Knox huffs at him rubbing a hand over his chest he stops and looks down at his fingers holding them up and looking at them in the pitch black room his gift oh he's yeah. talking yeah. about his fingers being straight oh yes because at the beginning of the book she fixed his crooked fingers like was and he said it was an old injury yeah okay oh okay great thank you because <laughs> i'm like what is this creatures like not straight like <laughs> yeah, we're, solving, we're solving we're solving things right right on the fly here at the book so then over. here's the next part though the north shrugs yeah. and says she didn't know she didn't have any control over it you know that over have, the healing yeah yeah but I'm wondering why it's such a big deal. I think it, I think it ties to his abuse because I think, I think the way that he didn't want to be in the bed with her, how he reacted to her being on him and the touch. I think that he was abused. I think that he was abused in a not good way. I think you're wrong. Um, when he was young. And we know now that North and Knox had different mothers. So I think mm-hmm. they weren't like in the same household at first right. until the person, the, the uncle who died. Yeah. Um, I think before then, I think Knox has trauma. I think he has some trauma. And I think that's why he, North is, you know, so tolerant of him. Mm-hmm. And, and, and Knox even says that like, I'm here in the spawn group for you, not for me. I don't want to be part of it. Like I'm here for you but it's not ever going to happen for me. Like he's not viewing himself as part of it. He doesn't want a part of it. I think that he's like really damaged and he doesn't see any other way. Even, I don't even think it's her. Like, even if he trusted her, I think that he, I think we'll get to a point where it's like, it's not you. It really is me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree. I, think, yeah. I agree. I think he's, I, and we've talked about it before, but he, he's yeah. definitely damaged. I think you're right. Some of his damage has to be, yeah. And I love, I have to, that, I think that will be the last thing I say is that I love that, like how she just started fixing them, you know, like the, I forgot uh, who it was stepped on the plane and was, you know, like she was just like, I'm going to fix this. I fix, you know, and it's like, it was like, yeah. And I love that. Cause she's taking care of them in her own way. And she, you know, learning how to control things too and stuff. But I just, oh, I love it. yeah, it's the, 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 her, like she can't control. I love how like, even if she wants to, she can't control like how deep down her bond feels for them and she feels for them. Mm-hmm. It comes out. Yeah. The best. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Oh, God. So good. So I did. What I, a yeah. read. It's what a good, a really good read. And I highly recommend, you know, read them together back to back yeah. would be probably the best. But I mean, yeah, it's really good. I'm looking forward to the next one. This one gave me such a good horrible <laughs> however you want to call it <laughs> <laughs> but you know I read it was... in the day, yeah read it in the day read it was like no nope, pausing life reading the whole thing yeah I read it throughout my day I think it took me I'm a slow reader so I think it ended up taking me like a full day full day but you know I did it because I I needed to I mean it was a movie day for the kids it was you know (laughs) it was just like I'm getting this done I'm reading this I and told my husband I'm like savage bonds I have yeah you're on your own (laughs) I'm already looking to like to take off for when we get the book um we'll see if I can I'm I'm like that's the point I want to use one of my sick days to take off for the release because I don't want to just like come home and you know read it for a couple hours after where I want to read the whole exactly thing. yes it's good so good so good but I, I'm a full reader when it comes to books that I like because I like to savor mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. when you love a book it, it takes me a little longer exactly and that's great. yeah it's a good thing yeah 
All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoy the read. I hope you enjoyed our chat and we will see you next time. Yes, enjoy. Bye. Bye.